And I'm Little Caddy with Caddy's Customs, and today we're going to be repainting some three-piece Forgiatos that are actually brushed in bright red, and we're going to change them to brushed in a little dark maroon. First step, which you've seen, we actually took the wheels apart, so now what we're getting ready to do is actually scuff them up, get them ready for paint. So you want to scuff them up a nice surface because if you, you don't want to use a sandpaper because if you actually dig into the brush or the wheel as a finish, you can't get back. So you just want to scratch the edge of the clear, the top of the clear, and get a nice smooth finish. After that, you actually want to get them taped up. Taping up is real precise because if, if your lines are off, your paintwork's gonna be off. So you wanna make sure your lines are nice and straight when you tape up. After you tape them up, we'll add color. This particular color is gonna be a dark maroon. After that, after you add the base, you'll pull off all your tape work. Make sure all your lines are nice and clean. Like I said, you wanna make sure they're nice and precise because if they're not, you'll have crooked lines and it just does it looks very unprofessional. After your lines are nice and straight, you add your clear coat and actually on the clear coat you're going to do more than one one pass on them one spray out because i mean on a, a three-piece wheel on the face of a wheel it's all different angles and curves and everything so you want to make sure you get a nice even flow over the whole wheel all right so we got it out the paint booth uh the wheels and the faces we got them taken care of they've been they sat over the weekend so they dried you know they cured real nice you don't want to touch them when they're fresh because they take a lot of pressure to get them together and get the faces in there right so uh, this is actually what it'll look like once it's done. We're actually getting ready to get it all tightened up. You want to use a, a small hand pack. You don't want to torque them too much or too not enough because this could be your biggest mistake. Your wheel can come off, your face can come off, and you'll have the biggest accident as you can possibly think of. What would happen if you torque them too much is the actual bolts will break. I mean, they, they got a, a certain pounds of torque that need to be torqued to, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's 27 pounds. If I'm not mistaken, don't hold me to it, but I'm like 98% sure. And if you do break a bolt, you will have, I mean, you don't have to go through Forgiato, but you can run an aftermarket one. But as you can tell, you can tell the difference. Forgiato also comes with an engraved F on the rivets, and this is just a plain rivet that, and it's ordinary, you can just run, but, and like I said, when you, when you pay for wood, you want to pay for the detail and everything that goes on it. So, and it, you get what you pay for. Certain wheels are directional, which means they'll go a certain way when they roll. And every, mostly every tire is directional. There's a couple of few that are, are asymmetrical, which means they can go any way. Uh, this one is actually a directional tire and a directional wheel. So this is a driver's side wheel, which rotates to the front on the left side. So you want to get a wheel that's going to rotate to the front on the left side. So let me find one real quick, a back wheel. This is the actual back wheel, and as you can see, the direction is rotating to the left, and we'll get it set in there and get everything tightened up. Be very careful when you're setting it in there, because you don't want to scratch a wheel or, you know, mess it up while you, you just painted it, you just freshly painted it, so just be very cautious of that. What I tend to do is actually put a couple of rivets in there, just periodically, so the face won't be loose and actually fall out on you when, you're, when you lift it up. Now that we got the wheels put back together, got the faces back in, got the rivets tightened up, I pass them over to my brother-in-law, Jose, who's actually getting ready to balance them, and then we'll get them on the truck. Uh, when you balance them, you actually balance them to get a nice smooth ride so your wheel's not jumping because a, a wheel is never really a true balance unless you balance it. So now that we got the wheels mounted up on the truck, we're pretty much done with the visual of it, the exterior of it. So I mean, if you want your wheels customized and painted to the way you prefer, then make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and follow us on Facebook. <laughs>